um, our first uh, show home event of the year, and it's our March Mobility Madness. So today is really dedicated to you know everyone that wants to connect with resources in our community. Anything from you know um, adaptive vehicles to wheelchairs to power chairs. Obviously, home modifications with what we do, home health care. Um, Wheelchair Getaways is here today, so we really um, we thank you all of the vendors that are here. We thank you all of our customers um, that are here today as well. And we have a very very special special guest today. So I want to personally in, um, introduce Mr. Michael Solano here. He is a uh, native to Colorado. His beautiful wife Miriam is sitting here as well, and his son Santana is here, and. Um, they have come today to share his story. Um, in the last year, Michael was injured, last year of July, correct? Yeah, 2013. 2013, so um, very interesting background. He served in the military, so he is a veteran, and he's also a local police officer. And um, he'll tell you his story, but he was not injured in any line of duty. So, um, but he is here to connect with community and kind of show you how the power of connection with community um, really can uh, give you meaning in your life. So, welcome, Michael. Thank you for being here today, and we'll give you the uh, the floor, the deck. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Yeah. So, um, I think um, where I want to start, so you guys can understand where I'm coming from, is just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to be a police officer. Um, even though everybody in my neighborhood didn't like them, uh, I liked them. I liked it, you know. I grew up, uh, went to the military, served four years. I got sent to Iraq, uh, served honorably, and nothing ever happened. Uh, got out of the army, married my wife, uh, went to work at a, at a prison for four years. The work was hard, and nothing ever happened. Then uh, God blessed me with my dream job. Um, I got on with uh, the police department at my job and uh, was enjoying life. Had a lot of money, hot wife, healthy son. Uh, what else? What else do you want? You know, I had it all. And uh, in 2013, on Fourth of July weekend. We went to uh, Loveland, and uh, it was a great weekend. The weather was good, the beer was cold. It, everything was just great. And um, I took my son on an ATV ride. I did everything right. I drove slow, I stopped at the stop sign. I did everything right. Um, dropped him off and I picked up my wife. I wanted to go show her off to everybody. So we're cruising and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always, I think I'm a pretty safe driver, I'm a pretty good driver. We're cruising, we're hanging out, and I uh, I didn't turn right. I, I undercorrected a turn. And uh, I went head first into a boulder uh, that left me paralyzed from my nipples down. So I have no feeling from there. It's a complete injury. My my spine was severed. So um, that was the end of that chapter. That's the end. I wake up and uh, I can't move my body. I'm in the hospital. I saw my supervisor, and I I remember me going into the hospital telling my supervisor that. I'm going to work for you again. I'm going to work for you again. And uh, it was crazy. It was just a crazy moment in my life. And I couldn't move. I couldn't tell my son that I was paralyzed. Just couldn't do it. And um, there was a lot of, lot of lonely times. Uh, the lonely times were at night. That's when it gets lonely. You know, you think about putting your son through college and how are you going to love your wife and just things you never ever think about because those things come so easy, you know. 
and uh, there was a lot of dark times. And uh, someone approached me about what you have. What do you have? And uh, that's when I started focusing on what I do have. And what I have is my mind and a will. My mind and a will. You know, my mind and my will take me to the gym today. Uh, my mind and my will allow me to love my wife, to be a father to my son, you know, to be a pain in his butt, to encourage, <laughs> you know, to, to reach out to people as much as I can. And that's my connection, is getting outside and doing something, because when I'm doing something, there's someone there. If I'm doing nothing, there's no one there. If I'm doing something, there's someone there. If I go to the gym, there's someone there that I can relate to. If I wasn't here today, I wouldn't have met that guy over there. He's a paratrooper, United States Army, served honorably, served his country. I think I made a friend today, his name is Pat. I would not have met Pat, thank you Pat. I wouldn't have met Pat if I wasn't, if I was at home feeling bad for myself. If I was home, I wouldn't see a beautiful lady that I used to work with, Vi. I wouldn't see her. If I'm doing something, I'm connected to somebody. Whether it's somebody new like Pat, or somebody that I've known for, hell, 18 years. But I haven't seen her in a long time. And that's my connection. If I'm doing something, there's somebody there. You know what I mean? And that's one thing I encourage you guys to do is get out there and connect with somebody, connect with something and, you know, that's, that's what I want to do is I want to connect. I want to be, I want to be mobile, you know, I want to be doing things and that's what I want Pat to do and I want to do and that's what we need to do. You know, it's, yeah, we're different, but if you have a brain and a will, you can, you know. It's, it's what you learn in the military. You gotta overcome your obstacles. And I think with the help of my wife and the help of my son, I think I've done, I think I've done pretty good. I couldn't do it by myself. God knows that. But with, with this team here, I can't lose. Every day is a winning day. Every day is a winning day. That's all I have to say.